Hi, Collective. So this is going to be a Lemurian star child reading. The energy is the full moon, a lunar eclipse, and Pisces. See what energies are coming through. A Lemurian guide. It's the first card out. I am your Lemurian guide. <laughs> Some of you could be finding out your also guides. There definitely is this reassignment too. You've been hearing me talk a lot about over here. Oh look, a star children. Some of you are finding out that you are a star child. Okay, you have star children. Travel is here. Sacred mountains. The blue dragons, like I literally had them written down. They already came through. The blue and the gold dragons, here they are again. And dolphin symbolism there. Purple dolphin. Okay, let's see. This was out before. Elvin Way, some of these cards just do not want to go and look and start connections. We're definitely in a portal at this time, this 9-9 portal, along with the lunar eclipse portal and the full moon. That's why it's really like all of these things. Look at that. Third eye card, the activation. Look at that. It's just so beautiful. Mm, it's definitely a very powerful one. This blue frequency. Just look at all the blues in this deck. And the lotus and the flower opening up. Arise. See, and there's more dolphins. A lot of you could be waking up to realizing this. Past life incarnations. And past life incarnations, um, it's from other realms, realities, that you could be realizing. Um, <laughs> This is very, very exciting. You know, um, when you get when you get this remembrance, right, and you get online and it, it's like you're creating more of a space to be able to expand your soul, like soul expansion and soul growth. The rise is coming out too, which is very powerful and observe. <laughs> I feel like this reading alone, like I could open up to many different realms. I get very galactic with my readings around portals, gateways, things like that. Um, so if I'm talking to levels that you don't understand, then it's from higher, five dimension and higher, because literally like ninth to twelfth dimension stuff has definitely been coming out. <laughs> Arise. Oh, look, there's something sacred with the dolphin, all this symbolism. These codes are also activators. I was told to, that's why I flipped the camera, everything is so close. So focus on these cards. Right? There are different things. But you see all the like the circles and everything like with the portals. I always um look what just came out, ships of light. Wow. Um, there's many activators within these. And the Lemurian guide for some of you. You have a new Lemurian guide that is like um, in the ships oh Saris what is this like for some of you like you have control of a ship if you're not, okay if you're not to level you don't feel like this is for you it's not for you because it's not everybody like okay how did I open up this reading right talking about new contracts new <laughs> new positions multi-dimensional like that's what i keep getting the string like you guys are realizing your multi-dimensional self your soul like if you look at this card too you see all of these different realms right and you see like the big portal here but look at the big overlay and what i was talking about a couple weeks ago was like overlay soul it's like for some of you and i've been talking about the firmament and, and the bearer being down and the galactic ships and all that i've been saying are here look but this multi-dimensionality like you're realizing oh my gosh so they're going very galactic with this these these cards actually too like um they activate things while i'm going along too for different messages 
initiation. It's like some of you were going through like an initiation. Okay, for a long time and it's like it's complete, it's done. It that's definitely what's closing out with the nine nine portal. Right? Cause it it's um it's the it's the nine nine frequency and we have that going on right now, like literally in real time I'm recording this on the 18th, which is a vibration of a nine. And we have the 19th tomorrow. And isn't it interesting that our portal that's open for nine days and opened up on 9-9 is going through 918, which is also a nine closing out that portal. And we have this portal from the full moon that opens up, right, on the 17th. And the intense energy of the eclipse for about 48 hours will also be closing out on the 19th. So this is a major closing out of cycles, situations like um, it, it's a major purging. Right, as for a lot of you, like lots of ascension symptoms, flu symptoms, all sorts of things, right, are definitely going on. And it's been very, very graphic lately. Like, um, just so many different things are getting exposed, like, um, this cleansing, this detoxification, and this purging. Like, that's literally like what's going on here. Like, stepping stones is here. And this is all about, like, um, you know cleansing but like for a lot of you like a lot of this stuff is like coming up to purge out to release to let go of okay look it came right back out <laughs> i feel for some of you like you could be trying to skip steps that's why i said like um like it's really gross like for some of you like you don't want to feel emotions you don't want to do those things but like you're being called to feel you need to purge and cleanse and detox like like it's part of it Okay, look, Guidance, Breath of the Sun, now. All right, I want to get into some tarot cards because these are very deep and, like, they're really activating different things. Sorry if you guys hear all the um, background noise, but I really wanted to get through so many decks on this portal. This frequency, right? And, uh, let me see what I can really take it. I didn't want to miss getting these out, so. All right. Hmm, so we're actually going to get into this one. I pulled them both, so let's see. Because this blue frequency is really coming out very strong. Felt added to blue. Oh my gosh, like I was like, I fell in love with Maji's nails. Oh my gosh, y'all. Watch her, like, her nails are so popping, like, oh my gosh. I thought it was so perfectly done the way she's been doing her, her readings. Oh my gosh, with the energy. I've been noticing that a lot of you, you're starting to notice other things, other connections. Let's see, like, um, things are really popping in stone and out. Right, let's see. It's the kind of energy. Nine of Pentacles. It's costing. The moon. There's the moon. Look at that. And with the star. Shut up. <laughs> See, I told you this is a beautiful clearing because it's closing out all of these, all of these, um, these outdated cycles, right? All these karmic cycles, like, everything's being reset. So a lot of painful cycles, situations, like, all of that is coming to a close. Eight of Pentacles. So there's some sort of wish fulfillment around uh, business, work, career. Okay, something strong with the Pentacles. Money, something, um, a lot of work. Let's go into something here. Knight of Swords. This fast movement is starting by two nights. Okay, this has, like, been a long-term progress, but it's interesting this night's pointing back, like, um, in the past, right? So I feel that it's, like, some, there wasn't a right time for something. It's almost like he's held, holds it and holding this pentacle. I'm kind of more feeling like this is something, like, you really had to fight for because the way it's coming across is, like, to be able to get this, you're really going to have to battle and fight. And especially picking up on this side of swords, like, he is so ready to <laughs> battle. This is something that's like really making you. This was is showing me that this cycle that's closing out is something that was literally meant to like push you to fight for what you want, you know. Um, that's why you, you felt this challenge where it was really. 
it's like this major jailbreak, right? And it's like what we're feeling collectively, like this energy, like reclaiming your power, like enough's enough, right? Like everybody uh, that I come across, there's so much of this, like everyone's like, this has got to stop. This is too much. Like things have got to change, right? Within our world. And they are. Look at this. As I say this, Ace of Pentacles, I can't make it up. And that abundant, beautiful new beginning. Look at how big it is. Being guided by the divine. It came in the recent past already. Snap. Look. <gasps> Out with two more aces. Here's three aces. Did I not tell you? Reset, baby. Three aces. Ace of swords. Telling you. Confirming to you that I am telling the truth. Okay. Ace of swords. Look at that. Ace of wands. Ooh, this is passion. This is money. This is love and money, baby. This is some. This is like exciting, you know, because love or, wow, well, I was gonna say something about love and money. <laughs> All right, um, money is just one form of abundance and frequency, and that's what everybody forgets. Everybody gets so caught up on that funny ass coin, they don't. They think that that's automatic. Well, you know what? Sometimes you can have all that. Okay, don't get me started. <laughs> All right. So three aces all in a row. This is coming out in the karma position. In the action, there's some sort of communication or something's going to be communicated. There's definitely options here. This last time I've seen the seven of cups. <clears throat> With the three of pentacles, that's a collaboration uh, coming together. Some sort of work collaboration is coming out strong here. <clears throat> This is two of pentacles and six of cups. So, okay. With the king of swords. Ooh, there's a choice point here. There's a decision to be made here with the two of pentacles. This is coming out in an obstacle position. So something from the past. Sometimes you get blocked, right? For some of you, there's big things being revealed. With the moon and the star, this moon is revealing like wish fulfillment, new opportunities. It's like blessing abundance. It's like if you've done the healing, like you get the reward, right? And so you better believe that there's going to be resistance to that obstacles, the ops, right? Like I always say when there's something very beautiful, like look for the false offer, right? Like look for the angel, look for the devil, right? Mm-hmm. Seven of swords. That's the lies and deception, betrayal. For some of you, there could be something revealed under this moon of some sort of lies or betrayal. So, and this could be your energy as well. You could be in the seven of swords if... um you know you are wearing a false mask like um you're living in fear this is also the fear card right so if you're you're not being true and authentic to yourself you could be getting exposed and shown here but something well, that's why i say like masks and all that stuff like everything's falling out like it, it can't be held in this new frequency and this new level that's coming in here Mm -hmm. Like you're going to be forced to purge literally like I'm literally watching that happen to so many people around me right Nine of cups seven of cups and the page of pentacles just came out like what is it? This is a love offer, baby Nine of cups seven of pentacles with the page of pentacles Or this is you having options of going after things that you love The five of pentacles next to the wheel so for some of you like you're coming out of poverty or a poverty mindset lack or you're making or this is also like a temporary lack or going through like a temporary form of like of loss but to better yourself like literally i got so empowered you right um or i have been talking to how like strong people are feeling at this time and these changes and walking away from things like just entire ways of thinking and belief systems and secure security and foundation and just really breaking the matrix and you know that's literally what we're doing collectively as we're breaking away from the constructs right of being controlled you know um you know baby we're in age of aquarius so this is um you know us waking up right um <clears throat> It, you know what I mean? Sometimes when you go through lack and loss and losing things, like when you hit rock bottom is when you fully see like the resources and the help that's available, right? It's like when people go for help and resources, when they're finally brought to a point where you need to, then you know it's there, right? It's kind of like one of those things. It's like there's there's been so much separation and, and division, right? That's been going on, so much corrupt stuff, 
All right, separating all of us. Energy harvesting. It's kind of just like, damn, everything is in the movies, right? They're showing me like Monsters, Inc. right now. Like, what are they doing? What, you know what I mean? Harvesting the children's energy through the screams, through the simulators and all of that. It's literally like that. You don't get it. The dark force is on. Okay, don't get me started. <laughs> don't get me started, spirit. They're very... <laughs> I know. I got a lot of um, very, let's just say, warriors on my team, right? My spiritual team. Light and dark forces, right? That's why I know I'm not one to be reckoned with. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. But that's that, having that beautiful balance, right? Um, Queen of Wands is coming out with the strength card. I love this card too, and this new deck that I got. Look, it's so dimensional. Like, look, this line is literally going through the bars. Like, if if the camera will focus, <laughs> his face. Um, do you see how the bar? It's like it's going through. It's like he's going through. Dang it! Won't. I'll have to. Um, I'll put a picture up in my community post if I remember if this. Um, went up close, but it's very neat. And it's like your strength is like putting you through the veil, like go through the veil, through the new realm. And that's why I love this. It's like the cathedral, all the different pieces is what they look like. Like you're, you're putting together all the different pieces. You're realizing how to transcend. It's like really reclaiming your power and your energy and being able to control your Merkaba and be able to like move through the realms and not being so stuck in the physical and not just being in that identification of like, the ego is like what traps you here, right? And that's why if there's any bit of fear, things like that, that's what's um, what's anchoring you, right? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to stop this reading. So um, I hope it helped you for whoever this is for, right? Because if you come in with an energetic frequency match, then you will see the messages for you or sometimes the spiritual teachings, right? that come out as well i know a lot didn't in this reading i just put that out there but feel free to take a look at whatever other readings do feel guided to all of my readings are timeless so that as time is but an illusion right and it's literally non-linear you cannot destroy energy so once it's created it's always there it's different realms realities we are in a parallel reality <laughs> look i almost merged these two tarot decks together wow if that's not what this is about right in, in this merging of energies. Okay, remember I pulled two decks. So I'm going to do another reading with the second see what messages come out. Um, you'll find it down below next to this one. I'll tag it to the end screen too. Um, I always say that whenever a reading you come in on, you should take a look at surrounding readings so you can find that those are resonating too because it's the same energy, but never force anything to fit too. Like, if you don't want it to manifest on your timeline, then don't. Like, you can change it. And that's really when you get in the power of the presence of the I am and you realize that you have control of your reality in your present moment. It's a very powerful thing. I'm trying to put it at the end of the reading. Hopefully whoever's here still watching this is caught that. <laughs> Love and lights, all of you. 1818 on the clock as they say that. Source code number for someone. Bye.